Hi there, I'm Suzanne Roynan. I am an author, interiors therapist, and I teach interiors therapy using the Interiors Therapy Masterclass. So why am I here showing you how to use EFT? Well, basically, because sometimes when I'm working with my VIP clients one-to-one -one, or I'm teaching my students, we come up with areas of their lives where they just feel that there's this complete emotional block and they don't know how to shift it. Now, the thing about emotional freedom technique, EFT, is that it starts to unpack what's going on inside and allows you to release it in a very gentle and, you know, a much more swift way than maybe spending years in counselling or, you know, investing huge amounts of money in a psychiatrist. If it's just something that you can wash away really quickly. Well, I'm all in favour of that. So with EFT, it uses acupressure points. So points that come from the knowledge of acupuncture, which has, you know, it's been used for 5,000 years. This stuff has been working a long while, folks. So let's just, um, let's just give it a chance, shall we? So with EFT, we have various points on the body that we tap. And when I say tap, you know, I'm sort of nothing harder than that it's really just about making your brain think oh what's going on there and it distracts and breaks the the neurotransmitters in your mind and stops you from just dwelling so much on whatever's been going on for you so the points that we're going to use yeah, just give you some arms here um the side of your hand and this is a sort of slightly fleshy bit on the side of your hand and just tap away on it. Now that is always going to be the starting point for each part of the protocol. So it's like a reset, if you like. Uh, this is going to be a very simple protocol. It's not designed for um, trauma. It is designed to just make you feel a little bit better, lift some of the overwhelm, okay? So this would be the first point that you would start on the side of the hand, the karate chop point. Then we have the inside of the eyebrow, the outside of the eyebrow. This point is on the lower eye socket. So aim for socket, not eye. Under the nose, between those two ridges. On the chin, ideally on the, yeah, this little line bit, yeah, where your makeup gets stuck. Collarbones. Now, you want to be looking for the knobbly bits of your collarbones uh, just at the base of your neck. I love using two hands here. You don't need to. It works with just as well with one, but two just seems to give it a little bit of extra oomph. And then there is the line on your bra strap. Now, um, ladies, that's easy for you. Guys, it's where your bra would be if you were wearing one, which you're not. So just aim for that point, yeah? Okay, and then there's the top of the head. And this is, um, you know, if you're, if you're doing the chakra stuff, it's the crown chakra. For me, it's connecting you in with what's going on in your mind. So those are basic EFT points, which I am going to ask you to tap on if you follow any of the other videos. If you're not following them, great. You've just watched me do the funky gibbon. Okay, have a really good day. Bye now.